My king, the infidels in Spain declared war upon us. Prepare for battle. They cite coalition as their CB. Hi everyone and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge. The challenge where player initiation U4 in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week ladies and gentlemen we're back with a super interesting start as the nation of Moldavia. Moldavia is a nation located in the Carpathia region. We start off with a truce with the Ottomans and being guaranteed by Poland so at least we're secure defensively. We start off with this 2-3-2 guy right here who's uh, not that bad although we will be getting rid of him possibly pretty soon. Obviously we're orthodox and Moldavian ideas are actually pretty good. We start off with plus 10% morale of armies and plus 33 percent improved relations which is really strong plus 10 percent fort defense as a finisher prestige manpower recovery speed a land force limit government thingy missionary strength plus two percent culture conversion cost discount and trade efficiency so moldavian ideas are really nice we should have a decent mission tree as well and we do have the ability to form romania of course starting off as moldavia is super super difficult it's impossible for us to get any allies we have to reject being vassalized by hungary or poland then they won't like us because of that so expanding over here aside from fighting will Slovakia is going to be almost impossible. But what do we do as Moldavia? Well, obviously, there's only one thing we can do as Moldavia, ladies and gentlemen, and that is to form the nation of Romania, which is going to be extremely difficult because we need provinces from Wallachia, from Hungary, and from the Ottomans to form Romania. And if that's not enough, we're also, for our secondary goal, going to have to take the mission to impale the Sultan, basically to uh, kill the Ottoman ruler and heir. For our third goal, we're going to have to conquer Constantinople and if that's not enough for our fourth goal because we're Romania that's right we're gonna have to conquer Rome Ugh. man if the start wasn't difficult enough who comes up with these goals I wait I do why didn't I just you know tell myself to dev Bessarabia or something I don't know either way let's jump in as Moldavia all right all right here we are as Moldavia let's take a look at the mission tree real quick okay so we got some missions right here and right here all of them basically focus on us uh expanding I guess maybe a little bit of development right here on this side but uh doesn't matter too much of course we do start off as orthodox and as good as that is it's actually not because it makes it harder for us to ally nations such as Austria Hungary Poland Lithuania and stuff like that so I'm even going to be trying to go for uh Muscovy right here which may be possible Possible. Either way, more on that later. Uh, when do we get a claim on uh, Wallachia? What do we do right here? We don't. We don't get a claim. Well, maybe we'll get one from our, um, what you call it, from a state agenda. But I'm going to start spying on these guys immediately. Let's do the estate setup and uh, then we'll do everything else. Okay, estate stuff mostly done. We also have the Cossacks right here. This is a pretty good privilege for uh, land leader shock because we have a step estate. Uh, let's not rival anyone just yet, man. We do have one guy, what's it, collecting in Crimea. The other guy can, uh, well, actually collect in Krakow, but uh, establish communities right there so we can get our relations up with Poland. Are we making money? We are making a little bit of money right here. Let's see, force limit is nine. Do I get rid of these horses, man? Do we have calf combat or anything like that? We don't. Uh, we have plus 5% because of the Cossacks, but not really too relevant. So I am going to get rid of this guy and uh, let's build up 10 infantry regiments. Let's go ahead and hire a uh, no depot rep guy. Damn, that sucks, man. I, I got to get one. I got to get one. And uh, let's start improving with uh, Poland. Can I rule marry anyone right off the bat is what I'm interested in is actually... Oh, we can rule your Hungary. That's great. Potential alliance. Definitely. Let's pray they don't get um, <laughs> subjugated by Austria. Now, these guys have rivaled each other. So I should probably ally Hungary. These guys will still keep their guarantee over me. Yeah, I wonder how we're going to do this. Poland would be better than Hungary. Yes, nice. Okay, Royal Married Poland 2. They got Lithuania. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Wallachia has allied biz. Nothing out of the ordinary right there, honestly. Ah, uh, this sucks, man. After Poland P, Lithuania... They became hostile. No way we can ally these guys. Yeah, let's work for uh, rallying Hungary. Just got a claim on Wallachia, and there's a Hungary alliance too. Perfect. Uh, now what? I guess we fight Wallachia? It is going to be a little bit annoying with Biz here. Yeah, I can't be bothered to go and siege down Constantinople. And by the way, I, I know I can probably take Constantinople if I fight Wallachia here, but it doesn't feel right. I want the Ottomans to take it, and then I take it from the Ottomans. Yeah. Maybe create favors with Hungary? Let's see right here. They're not guaranteed by anyone, which is good. What the frick, man? Why, dude? Freaking idiots, man. Now what? You know what? Frick all this, man. Let's get rid of Diplorep guy. Let's get, uh, well, not, not any of the guys I wanted. Let's get that guy right there. I'm going to take out a few more loans right here. Let's get the free company up, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and fight Wallachia. Nothing else we can really do. Uh, let's see our ruler right here. Ah, let's give him milk command. Pretty good, actually. Three shot. All right, there it is. First war. 
Ah, oh, there's Roman's invasion. A bad time for it to happen, honestly. Okay, we can submit to Roman's rule. We become a March of Poland, March of Hungary, or Pretenders rise up and Poland hates us. Whatever. Okay, so the Pretender guys, let's see right here. Roman the Third, Musat, 132. Those stats aren't really accurate. Honestly, it doesn't matter if we let these guys win. Eh, let's see how fast we can wipe out Wallachia, then I'll turn back and fight them. Okay, so the Ottomans declare on Athens, of all nations, uh, and they just beat up the Wallachian and Byzantine troops. Luckily, they're not sieging anything here, so, uh, yeah, I think I can. I, I can't walk around just yet, but yeah, I think I should be able to get all of this. Yeah, easy, perfect. And, uh, Hungary just declared on Wallachia too? Dude, if we had, like, a big ally right now, we could just, uh, vassalize Wallachia, beat up Hungary, take a bunch of stuff from them. Actually, that's not bad at all. 632, I'll take that. And the pretenders have been beaten up as well. Easy. Royal marriage with Muscovy. And we can ally them after this war. Awesome, dude. Awesome, awesome, awesome. What is this stupid war from the Ottomans, man? So they declared on these guys, right? Kerman is their ally. Kerman occupied Constantinople, so now they can't take it. And they declared on Athens too, not Biz. And after a white peace on Biz, we can go ahead and peace out. So obviously I want to full annex Wallachia and... Uh, that's that. All right, good start right here. Now we can take a mission, unite the whatever that is, uh, state maintenance, but the autonomy change, I'll take it, perfect. And now we need to basically dev up uh, your gear right here to found uh, Bucharest. Meanwhile, let's ally Muscovy. Okay, now we're guaranteed by Poland, uh, ally with Muscovy, no one's gonna declare on us. Uh, we do need to figure out the next step of expansion though. Hungary, Hungary is not allied to Austria. Yeah, but I can't fight them, no one would help me. Yeah, Muscovy wouldn't, what about Poland, right? I don't know what we do after this, honestly. I'm a dumbass. I forgot to rival Wallachia before this war. <laughs> Whatever. Dude, the Ottomans pieced out Bez. <laughs> they didn't take Constantinople and they got to choose until 1461. It's like the game is begging me, begging me to take Constantinople now. All right, so we need to ally an Ottoman rival for that. And then we need to control the Ottomans as capital, which is a dear near right. It's perfect. It's foolproof. Hey, here's someone who can help you fight Hungary. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, so by the way, the former Romania, man, we need Byzantium to not exist, which means we're not going to be doing a vassalization thingy. Then we need this province right here from Hungary and this province from the Ottomans. Yeah. Okay, so Hungary rejected Ladislas. Oh, actually, he died. <laughs> okay, so that means uh, no, you know, event Austria PU on Hungary. We'll see if they try and, uh, you know, actually attack them. Took this earlier. I can take this now. Taking up. We'll probably be able to ally Austria uh, later on, I think. Huh. So it's me and Bohemia and their two boys versus Hungary, Croatia, Milan, and Bologna. Milan is going to be kind of annoying. Bologna, not really, but they got like 45k. We got 33k. Yeah, man, this is this is risky. I don't think I'm going to go for it, honestly. We need someone else too, or I don't know. We need a Miltech over. Hungary's got this five guy. Bohemia's got a two guy. I got a two guy. Nah, they'll be taking up before us. Yeah, we need a different plan here, boys. Tier two governor form time. I am actually gonna go with strength and noble privileges here, man. I think, right? These guys are not that influential. Yeah, strength and noble privileges. Oh, uh, the Renaissance has spawned. We do need to dev it in our capital right here. So let's bump it up a couple of times. Expand. Uh, yeah. Now we can take a mission. Expand. Sure. Oh wait, I shouldn't have done that. Now it's more expensive. Oh, or it's not. Well, you know, whatever. Ma uh, Ottomans got Crimea as a vassal. Not something that's good for our game. <laughs> There's an alliance with Brandenburg. I allied the Palatinate earlier, you know, elector allies. Not like I'm going for the emperorship. I can't. I'm orthodox. But uh, yeah, just trying to find random allies that'll help me fight hungry, man. Uh, Brandenburg. Uh, actually, Brandenburg won't. I'm a dumbass. The Palatinate will, though, with favors. Who do these guys hate, man? Who hates hungry? Okay, Bohemia obviously does. Bosnia. I don't know. Florence. Florence would probably help me fight them. You know, hungry have also allied Albania in the meantime. And yeah, Florence also would if I curried favors. So I think this is how we got to do it. Yeah, let's curry with them and continue spying on Hungary. And there's the Renaissance. Actually, we don't need a whole lot to embrace it. And I can go ahead and take new burger loans. Yeah, there it is. I wonder if we can sell it to someone. Does anyone want to buy my Renaissance? Hello? No. Okay. All right, let's finally full state Wallachia. High income. Okay, hired the free company, activated defensive in Wallachia and Moldavia. I think we're good to go. Bohemia out of the planet and Florence would join. Miltech, yeah, Miltech is okay-ish. Florence is actually at five. Yeah, this has got to be it, man. Okay, so like this, we got more troops as well. Let's declare for uh, this one right there. Or maybe that one. Yeah, that's not a fort. Let's go for that one. Not too confident, but I think we should pull it off. Yeah, everyone else is Miltech five now. I got to be real careful. I am not being careful. Ah. I would have won that, but I retreated. I'm an idiot. Florence and the planet got knocked out, man. Luckily, I knocked out Milan and Bologna. This, this isn't easy. This isn't easy at all. 
Oh, just got an event for Miltek discount. Yes, 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 yes. What? Minus five Kev combat? Freaking Cossack. No, 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 no. No, why? Oh, I got more troops than them. Or no, I don't. They got these pretenders. Oh, I can't, I can't do anything without taking this fort. Brick, man. Now what? I try and fight them in the mountains here? I don't know. Brick, this is not good at all. This is not good at all. Oh, 40 loans. I got nine right now. Well, these guys suck and they're so expensive too. Boom, maybe that's what I'm talking about. Uh, this fort is at, what is it at? 35%, let's go nab it. Yoink, 10 Patriarch Authority. Can we do something with this? Discipline and recovery speed. Yeah. Albania is low, I should be able to white piece them. Yep. We're losing too much money, man. 23% war score, I think we gotta call it right here. So let's get that. Yeah, this little state right here, Southern Transylvania, they will give it to me. And I can get warps too, maybe? I can't. Uh, what about another province? Nah, I don't think they'll give anything. Yeah, they won't. We can take like 120 ducats. Yeah, I gotta be satisfied with that. At least we border Serbia now. We could go for that gold mine. We definitely could. I didn't take the province I need for, uh, what you call it, for Romania, but that's okay. We got time. Okay, whew, let's get rid of uh, all of these guys, man. Okay, just like that, we're uh, almost back to making money. Now I... Actually, yeah, let's core these up first. Ah, oh, great. Frick me, man. <laughs> I can't fight anyone now. Yeah, I think we gotta wait for a truce with Hungary here. What's gonna suck is the Ottomans taking this from Venice right here, and then their warning will be uh, valid for Hungary too. What the frick is this? <laughs> Bohemia got Austria as a junior partner? France is contesting it. Is Austria loyal? Austria is not loyal. Oh, oh Bohemia is not gonna win this. Look at France. We got 50k troops and... What do we do here? Uh, Not good, man. Frick, man, that messes with our plans for fighting the Ottomans, too. First idea group time. I really don't know what we go here. Maybe Diplo to help me get some more allies. Poland will, will never ally me. I don't know. I think I'm going to go Diplo. Let's let's give it a shot. Tier 3, cover reform time. Expand a rural court, I guess. At least Burgundy remained independent. I'm an idiot. Yeah, man, I should have uh, freaking stayed allied to Bohemia. They kept Austria. What we can do now, actually, when our truce expires with Bohemia in um, about a year is support Austria's independence. They're already being supported by Hungary, Poland, and Naples. And I guess that's how we can get the Austrian alliance. Ottomans declared on Albania. They're going to fight Hungary, too. They can't take stuff from Hungary. Well, maybe they can take stuff up here, but I don't think they will. This might be a good idea. This might be a good time for us to fight them, too. Well, in three years. Truce with Bohemia is up, and I actually am going to support Austria as independence. Come on, dude. You got to declare now. It's uh, Moldavia, Hungary, Poland, Lithuania, Danzig, Switzerland, Naples. Do they have a truce? They don't. Just declare. But listen, I've seen uh, Austria and Hungary get peeled by Burgans here in one of my games. They had, like, all of Europe supporting their independence. Nope, they didn't declare independence on Burgans. They're not even loyal. They're not even loyal. Just declare. Ah, there it is. Okay. Oh, but wait, this means Hungary is allied to Austria as well. <laughs> no. Ah, uh, wait, shoot. Maybe I can get something here. Freak me, dude. <laughs> uh, I guess I can vassalize them. Or wait, no, they left the gold mine. <gasps> okay, Austria got independent. Wow, they took so much out of Bohemia, man. Let's hope they break that alliance with Hungary. I don't know what kind of relations they have. Yeah, they like each other. Also... Uh, Order of the Dragon. They're not allied. Look, uh, they broke that alliance. Yep. Oh. What? You know, at least I got a backup if Austria use Hungary, because I can just pop out Transylvania from here, right? They got cores on the provinces that we need. Well, the one province. So even if I can't fight them directly, I can just ask Austria, my ally, to give that core back. Okay, we're done here. Since I can't actually take anything, I'm gonna make uh, both Serbia and Bosnia my vassals. I, uh, it's not a good idea to vassalize your rival, I know, but I got Diplo ideas. I should be able to get them in line against two. Oh, sure. Why not? Now we've uh, acquired subjects too. I'm gonna give the boyars strong duchies. We're going through tech real quick because we're uh, not conquering anything, obviously. Let's go with a mill idea group for our second one. I'm gonna go with um, a defensive. Now let's just hope Austria becomes the emperor again. I doubt it, though. Poland declared on Hungary? No, this is the worst option, dude. Frick me, man. Freaking Ottoman warning, dude. Well, maybe Austria and Muscovy would help me fight Poland? Oh, no, they're, they're allied. Look, I'm literally trapped. This is the Ottomans' realm. This is Poland's realm. I'm literally locked in between two of the most powerful nations in the world. The 
only way we can get out of this is fighting Dalmatia here once our Ottoman warning on us expires in four years. And then through Dalmatia pushing into Italy, at least we can get Rome for one of our goals. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, 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 no. Not the Ottomans, no. Frick, what do we do? Okay, so they'll probably declare in a month or two, right? <sighs> Is there any way to stop them? Let's tr let's pop off alliances immediately. Let's 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 do Dalmatia here. It's all goddamn OPMs, man. No. Let me send a scornful to Clemson. I value like 50 nations. It's still not enough, probably, dude. Let's get everyone I can, man. Ah, there it is. They still declared. No, 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 no. That's who I was relying on. No, you absolute freaking idiots. Why did I even ally you? Ah, oh, they were on my border. I didn't even see it. Jesus. At least I can run away. No. What are we gonna do? I know it's like 50 of us, but... Oh, wait, hold up. We have twice as many troops. Is this doable? Honestly, it just might be, boys. Let's pray in the chat. All right, so while they're stacking right here, or at least they're gonna stack, what I'm gonna do is uh, take out a bunch of loans. I am gonna lose quite a bit of money doing this, but let's get the free company up at least. No, what do we do here? We just gotta wait for everyone to come. Everyone's far away. Uh, I'm not even guaranteed by pulling anymore. No. Can a thousand OPMs beat the Ottomans? Well, I guess it's time to find out. They made a mistake. I can see it now. Even though I lost a battle, I can see it. They messed up. Uh, we, uh, you know, they got like 24k manpower, right? That's the thing. All of these guys, they all got like 10, 20k, dude. The guys that I've allied. Yeah, that's what's going to win this war, man. The manpower. Let's impale this. Yeah, let me see you try fight me in Constantinople now. <laughs> nah, your ass is mine. Your ass is mine. Oh, let's see them. Oh, Mehmed right here. 444. No air. Why don't you have an air? Why don't you have an air? Listen, I don't even care that there's no air. Boom. Get the frick out of here. That's another goal accomplished, though. They are starting to piece out some of my guys because they're sad. Well, actually, I guess only Aquilia was sad. Oh, yeah, they were sieging them down. But, uh, yeah, that's another goal accomplished, right? We had four goals, form Romania, uh, take Constantinople. Yeah, right, form Romania, take Constantinople, take uh, Rome, and then uh, impale the Sultan, right? So that's one goal accomplished already. Perfect. Yeah, right now they've pushed us back a bit, though. We gotta get Gallipoli. Good, good. It's good that they go for big countries like Austria, man. Okay, got Gallipoli, and we're maxed out on war score. That feels good, man. That feels real good. All right, Ottoman. <laughs> That's what you get for thinking you can defeat all of the boys. That's right, man. All of these boys are my boys. And I'm still making <laughs> Diplo points, by the way. I actually didn't ally as many nations as I thought I did, but uh, shout out to literally everyone, man. Literally everyone that helped in this war. But now, oh, what's that? What? 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 Why are you so sad? Why? What's the problem here, Ottoman? What? Yeah. Bye bye. Boom, baby. That's another goal accomplished. We got Constantinople. Let's freaking get it. Okay, and I could coalition Poland, but more importantly, let's go back home and try not to go bankrupt because this was uh very very messed up. Wait a minute. Poland doesn't have Hungary now. World, are you willing to take me seriously? Oh, and by the way. There goes your royal marriage, Muscovy. There goes your royal marriage. And you know what else? You know what else? Yeah. Yeah, get the freak out of here. Okay, but I also obviously don't need a thousand OPMs helping me here. So let's get rid of some alliances. All right, uh, let's go with uh, Grant Land to the monasteries right here. Still losing money, by the way. Not as bad. I had to fire all my advisors and stuff like that. But I think we got to integrate Serbia here, man, uh, to get the gold mine. Sure, our land isn't connected, but yeah, uh, I guess. Whatever. Yeah, let's annex them. Uh, oof, this is fricked. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't have gone with Serbia. If I give these guys, uh, what's it called? The integration policy? Oh, it's only 5%. Okay, we're good, actually. But yeah, this pretty much means that we're done fighting the Ottomans, man. Of course, I will fight them out of spite, just because they uh, piss me off because they declared. But um, yeah, we just got to fight Hungary to take this. Then we can form Romania because we already got this province uh, for Romania. And then it's fighting the Pope, who luckily actually doesn't have strong allies this campaign. So yeah, when I fight Hungary, I guess we could get the here. Yeah, and then we'll do a naval invasion or something. Okay, things are looking good. I'm just... I'm just broke right now. Uh, that'll fix itself as soon as I annex Serbia. Okay, Serbia has been annexed. I'll actually keep this army around in case some rebels pop up. Uh, there we go. Encourage development immediately. And uh, yeah, let's start bumping this up. I just want to have a chill game, please. What? Okay, there's Kosovo devved up. Money situation is good now. Dude, look at this consort uh, general that I just got. This is insane. Yeah, this is a female ruler. I didn't even notice. 5-5, five, five, dude. Let's uh, actually put him in charge of the main army. All right, let's go blow up Hungary and form Romania. We'll do a little reconquest from one of Bosnia's cores. What? 
What? Oh, uh, okay, we're done with Hungary. Oh my god, please let me take this. Yes, I can, even without sieging that down. Okay, um, yeah, let's do this right there. I can't take everything. How do I do this? How do I do this? How do I do this? I guess let's not take this then. Yeah, we'll do it like this. Connect everything over to Bosnia. I'll get another fort here. That's done with Hungary. Why? Why? Why is this such a difficult campaign, man? Ah, oh, in my capital, they'll get it right away. Who is it? It's me, Bosnia, Lunenburg, Switzerland, and a planet versus Poland, Lithuania. Let's check Miltek. They're not ahead. Oh my god. Time to go into heavy debt once again. I need this gold mine up even more. Dude, I'm already losing so much money, man. We got so many forts. Ah, uh, yeah. I gotta get Warsaw and hope we can get a white piece here. That's the only thing. I don't see any other option. Can I get there? Yeah, I can. Yes, we can bomb. All right, there's Warsaw. What do we need here for a white piece? General with 50 tradition is awesome. Oh yeah, we're crushing their armies, man. I wonder if we can beat them here. They got really good generals too. I need more loans, more loans. We're losing so much money. This is very hard to run right here to sustain it. Just got to wipe on them here. Took this fort as well. They're uh, kind of scattered, which is working for me. They're not sticking to sieges. God, why are you giving me your toughest battles? If I can take this before they take these back, I think we can peace out. We gotta call it here. I wish I could go further, man, but we suck with manpower and look at how much money we're losing a month. Why? <laughs> this has been a very tough campaign, man. Very tough campaign. I'm using all of my skills, boys. There's Romania. Yay. Uh, discipline, tolerance, manpower, recovery, speed, landlord, maneuver, attrition, government, manpower, infantry, cost, trade, power, tax. Not bad, honestly all the same missions i haven't even found a bucharest yet okay there's a third goal accomplished please everyone stop attacking me dude i got so caught up in piecing out hungary i didn't even take this now we can't invade into italy i guess we could fight these guys but how am i gonna recover from this man it's just these forts i can't even delete the forts everyone keeps declaring on me the forts are what's saving us and i'm an idiot i didn't even take the other gold mine from hungary i was i was too caught up man i was too caught up what's this yellow thing I swear I saw someone warning me or something. All right, just spent about a thousand admin points lowering inflation from 16 to zero. And now we're finally making money. The thing is, man, we can't stabilize our economy enough for me to start building buildings and, you know, to start get the ball rolling and all of these forts working on annexing Bosnia. Now after that, I think I'll go for Dalmatia and then the Pope. If we can survive long enough, this has been so bad, dude. Very difficult campaign. Jesus, I realize why these nations are so hard. I, I, I don't remember the last time I played either Wallachia or Moldavia. Great, my truce with the Ottomans is up. Now you guys know what I'm expecting, right? <laughs> you know what? Actually, we can get new burger loans here. Um, and pay off some of the old loans. Or wait, I should build a workshop in Bucharest first. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, and this always costs me so much money. I always forget to turn these edicts off, man. It's so expensive. 200% state maintenance goes brr, I know. There we go, let's found Bucharest. Perfect, level 3 fort too. Ah, oh, great. Now Hungary is fighting Dalmatia. Well, how swell is that? I don't even have a CB. And I'm stuck on 185 with Bosnia, dude. Please, someone ally me. What the frick did I even get Diplo for? Please. Oh my god. Oh, wait. Bosnia's up to 190. Wait, actually, Hungary's losing. Why are they so sieged down? Oh my god. Well, Hungary just beat up uh, Dalmatia along with the Pope, and the absolute crackheads gave this to the Pope. I guess I border him now. Yeah, that's way easier. If I fight Hungary, I have to fight Austria, too. So we could just declare on the Pope here. We can't beat them by ourselves, though. But yeah, man, uh, we're making a lot of money now. I'm really starting the, you know, the whole process now. I haven't lowered autonomy in so long, too. Oh, I was making like 11 ducats before this, right? Let's see how much it is after this. Can't lower it in Kosovo again, which I devved up to like 15 production. That wasn't a whole lot, was it? I also need... Uh, Boats here. Wrapped up defensive before I wrapped up Diplo. Jesus Christ. And it was so useless, man. I should have gotten like religious or something. Yeah, but look at this magnificent army now. I'm so fickle. This campaign, you guys have no idea. There's Bosnia Annex, which means we got a border with the Pope. Uh, I'm already spying on him. There's a claim on Spalato. Okay, forts are up. Oh, oh, we can deck up. Okay, forts are up. And uh, yeah, Lord Autonomy, let's go ahead and provoke a bunch of rebels. Go beat them up and then we'll fight the Pope. Boys... I think it's time for our final war. I'm going to go ahead and declare on the Pope right here. Uh, he's at the Hungry Gelray Bologna and Salute, so I don't have any boats, but we should be able to go through here. So, uh, yeah, here goes nothing, man. This is revenge for everything that's happened to me so far. Ottomans declared, Hungary declared, Poland declared. I don't know what else happened. Warnings, guarantees, alliance breaks, everything. This campaign had everything, but in the end, we're still alive and we're still making eight ducats a month with forts and armies up. I'm tired, boss. I just want to go home when I am home. Well, 
now. All right, so I went ahead and carpet sieged Hungary for a bit, got their fort, but unfortunately I got engaged in a battle right here with uh, the army separated, so they kept coming in one by one and getting wiped, but uh, there's Hungary out. Give me that. No, they won't give it to me. Fine, freak you. Oh, uh, let's go for this. Uh, yeah, that's the barrage discount. Siege down the Pope, they're sieging me as well. Let's go back home and beat them up. Okay, Gelray and Saluzzo are on low. Jesus Christ, they're the annoying ones. Let's get them out of here. I pieced out Bologna earlier. There's Gelray too. Oh, wait, now I'm stuck. You know, they got access. I crossed through here. I beat them up, but they revoked access again, hoping they could trap me. But, Pope, this is useless, man. You're already defeated. <laughs> you are done. Take that, Europe. My king, the infidels in Spain declared war upon us. Prepare for battle. They cite coalition as their CB. Well, it's only Spain, France, and all of Italy. But listen, we're done. I literally don't care. I don't care anymore. That's it. There's our fourth goal. We're done. This is the most painful campaign I've ever had. I just wanted to play in peace. <laughs> uh but no seriously i'm done but there you go man we start off has moldavia in these few provinces right here and i did anticipate a very very difficult campaign i just didn't know it was going to be this difficult with everyone declaring on us started off you know decently normally you know conquering wallachia even allied hungary they broke that alliance with me after that and then we were sort of locked in after poland pewed hungary and then you know we had to do some stuff over here managed to vassalize bosnia and serbia that worked out a little bit and then the ottomans declare on us or wait more importantly we got a pop-up telling us the ottomans would declare on us that's how we saved ourselves i managed to ally as many nations as i could over in europe we beat up the ottomans man took constantinople uh, impaled the sultan there goes two of our goals after that after beating up the ottomans we fought hungary took this from them for romania there's our third goal and uh in a very very painful campaign where we were pretty much always broke even though we had a gold mine uh, always sucking never building enough buildings never having a strong army nothing like that went with diplo totally useless i have no allies it's just brandenburg and lunenburg shout out to the boys they've stayed loyal for so long and after that i just finally had to declare on the pope to accomplish our fourth goal of taking rome because romania rome you get the point point. and uh right now even though i haven't caught up rome and even though we're coalitioned and i'll technically lose everything this challenge is still a success man because after all the trials and tribulations and hardships and the pain that we've experienced this campaign i uh uh, I'm excited to take a little W home for myself, as tiny as it is. But uh, yeah, man, Moldavia, one of the hardest nations in Europe for sure. Up there with Wallachia, with Granada and stuff like that. Those are pretty much like the hardest nations in Europe I can think of. And uh, I'm glad to have gotten them out of the way. And boy, am I not looking forward to playing Wallachia when we come to season W. But uh, there you go. That's Romania. Sultan impaled, conquered Constantinople, formed Romania, conquered Rome. Whew. This was a tough one, boys. But... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm happy to say that this campaign as Moldavia in A to Z has been a success. Barely. And that has been Moldavia in A to Z. Let me know in the comments what I should do as this nation next week. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash live. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you like the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.